friends today we are going to discuss about the disorders of the sweat gland and disorders of the sebaceous glands first we focus on the disorders of the sweat gland disorders of the sweat gland mostly arises because of the blockage of the ducts of the sweat glands and when the ducts of the eccrine sweat glands get blocked the condition is called malaria which is also called a sweat rash and when the ducts of the apocrine sweat glands get blocked we call it as fox fordy's disease and you should able to distinguish fox fordy's disease from fordy's disease fordy's disease is the disorder of the sebaceous gland while fox fordy's disease is a disorder of the sweat gland and i will give you a trick to remember it suppose you must focus on this word fox fox is an animal suppose fox is an animal you know that and she runs very fast and because of uh, excessive running running uh, she sweats a lot and in this way you can remember that uh, fox for this disease has a fox in it so it should be the disorder of the sweat gland and also you can identify the location of the fox body disease by focusing on this word fox as it has an x in it so it affects the axilla axilla also has x in it okay now we discuss the malaria first uh, malaria is usually seen in the hot and hum humid conditions because of excessive sweating uh, it is of various types mostly it is of four types uh, malaria crystallinia malaria rubra malaria pustulosa and malaria profunda and uh, in the when the ducts of the eccrine sweat glands get blocked in the region of the stratum corneum the patient usually presents as the teeny vesicles on the skin and the condition is called as malaria crystallinia or pseudomonia and when the these ducts get blocked in the region of the stratum malpighi Uh, which is the combination of stratum basale and stratum spinosum we call it a stratum albigae and the patient usually presents as the itchy erythematous papule and this condition is called as malaria rubra and when it get infected and inflamed it is converted into the malaria pustulosa okay and when these when the ducts of the eccrine sweat glands are blocked in the region of dermo epidermal junction the condition is called as the patient present as itchy nodule and the condition is called as malaria profunda okay now we discuss about the fox fordy disease fox fordy disease arises because of the chronic blockage of the apocrine sweat glands and apocrine sweat gland drugs okay and these ducts are usually apocrine gland ducts are usually seen in the region of the axilla so axilla is the most common site of uh, affection and uh, after it it can also affect the periareolar area inframammary area and pubic area okay and uh, there can be secondary non bacterial inflammation in these lesions of this fox fordy disease and it typically affects the female and the age group is usually 13 to 35 year and the lesion is usually discrete and the color is flashy to reddish in color and it is dome shaped and it can present as the in the region of the follicle and perifollicular and present as papule okay now after studying the disorder of the sweat gland now we will discuss about the disorders of the sebaceous gland okay the most common disorder is fordy sweat also called as fordy's disease okay since this word do not have fox in it so it is not a disorder of the sweat gland as i already told you when the word fox come you remember fox as fox sweats a lot as he runs a lot as i already told you okay so it does not have fox in it so it is not a disorder of the sweat gland it is a disorder of the sebaceous gland okay basically the fordy spot or presence of the ectopic sebaceous gland in the region of the lips or in and around the oral mucosa okay and when such sebaceous gland seen in and around the penis or the vulva the lesion is called the such glands are called as tinson's gland okay and it is usually a benign condition and it is usually seen around the puberty and it mostly affects the male okay and uh, these lesion look like uh, can be confused with coplic spot of the measles 
but in the coplic chord scoplis spot we see the erythematous halo but in for this spot we don't see any erythematous halo around it okay that's it thank you keep smiling